마저 달빛을 가려다 Hey there. So I was inspired by another K-tuber, Planet Min J, to make a versus video with my favorite groups. I decided to talk about One Us, Elast, and Ace, which are my favorite boy groups, and say who I think is better in certain categories with explanations. Disclaimer, this video is entirely opinion-based, and I'm not presenting any of my opinions to be facts. Also keep in mind, once again, that these are my favorite groups and think they're all extremely talented, so I found this pretty hard to make. If you agree or disagree with my choices, feel free to leave a comment below. So without further ado, let's get to the video. <laughs> This one, without a doubt, is definitely going to Ace. While I think all three of these groups are pretty strong vocally, Ace is just on a whole other level. It's honestly beyond unreal how good at singing this group is, and I'll even go as far as to say they have some of the best vocalists to come out of a non-Big 3 company. Just watch pretty much any of their performances and you'll know how crazy powerful this group's vocals are. I'm going to give the dance category to One Us. Maybe part of it is my own personal bias, but I think One Us are a group of really skilled dancers. Yes they do have Huang Wuung, who I think is one of if not the best male dancer within 4th gen K-pop, but even the other members who don't have the main dancer positions are pretty solid dancers themselves. You can also really see their strong dance abilities when they perform dance breaks in their songs. I'm definitely no dance expert, but I'm always impressed by their sharp movements, and their synchronization is no joke as well. The rap category is going to Ace. Bunkwin and Seyun quite literally never missed when it came to a rap verse in Ace's songs. Their verses in Goblin and Undercover are just excellent. Plus Seyun's verse in Savage is such an earworm I really can't get enough of it. I'm more than convinced that if Ace was bigger, they would have definitely been mentioned when it comes to best third gen K-pop rappers. <laughs> I'm gonna give the choreography category to Elast. I think them having more members than the other two give them room for more intricate routines. The main thing I love about Elast's choreographies are how they utilize every member. Every member plays a role and has a killing part. You rarely see someone being excluded or a member being covered by another. In fact, if a member were to be missing during their performances, I can see the choreography looking very off which shows that everyone has a significant part and no one is just there. Plus their choreographies are always very contemporary like to match their orchestral music style, which is so refreshing to see, and what drew me into the group in the first place. Ace is taking the cake for this one. Ace has to be one of the most all-rounded groups I have ever come across. One thing I've noticed about them is that they're unintentionally the group that is the closest to having unfixed positions, despite the fact that they do have fixed positions. Literally anyone in that group could be a main vocalist, and that includes the rappers as well. Bunkwin has such an excellent voice as well as Sehyun, Jun, Donghan, and Chan are the lead and main vocalists, and have done some melodic-like rapping in some of their songs and pretty much the whole group could be main dancers if we're being honest. They're just so good at everything. Let me get into the next category before I get in my ace feelings, again. The title track category is definitely going to one us. No. 
them releasing Bring It On and No Diggity does not take away from the fact that One Us has some of the best catalogs of title tracks under their belt. Their title tracks are absolutely timeless and just so damn good. They literally have Luna, a song that shifted the universe into perfect alignment. And they got to be or not to be in Black Mirror in their discography like those men are not to be played with in the title track department. The group that debuted with Valkyrie on January 9, 2019 is just a force to be reckoned with I don't know what else to tell y'all. <laughs> Styling is going to elast. They really have some of the best styling not even just during music videos and teasers, but also during music shows. My favorite music show outfits of theirs are the white with black leather outfits that they wore during their creature stages and the beige outfits they wore during one of their tears of chaos stages. I'm personally just a sucker for their elegant and regal fashion. One thing I find pretty funny is how I sometimes see viral tweets on K-pop Twitter about outfits they wish K-pop idols wore, and some of the outfits were outfits he last have worn or something at least similar. <laughs> Something about One Us's stage presence really gets me like, they literally turn into characters on stage, especially Huang Wung. His expressiveness is seriously no joke. I can go on and on about Huang Wung's stage presence, but pretty much all the members are charismatic on stage in their own way, whether they have a more refined and elegant song like Luna, a loud in your face song like Bring It On or No Diggity, or cuter songs like Airplane or Plastic Flower. One of my favorite stage presence moments from One Us is their Halloween M countdown stage where they covered Heartbeat by 2 p.m. Their charisma is just so impressive they're not called stage geniuses for nothing. <laughs> Now when I tell y'all I was scrambling when I got to this category. I think all three of these groups have some of the most interesting concepts. But ultimately, I decided to go with One Us. They have covered so many themes from futuristic mythology to fantasy to traditional Korean elements to Greek mythology and horror to wacky concepts, and their movie-inspired performances from their One Us theater projects. They have done a pretty wide range of concepts within three years of being in the industry, and it's really hard to predict what they're gonna do every comeback. Also since I'm a sucker for anything space and astronomy related, the way they sometimes schedule their comebacks based on moon faces is so cool to me like I'm so glad I found this group. In conclusion, one us fourth gen concept kings, period. And that's all I have for today. I had a lot of fun making this video despite the fact that I found it pretty hard to make. Also let me know your opinions on these groups in the comments below, and who you would choose in these categories. I don't know what else to say um, stream roar, stream trickster and vote so one us can get their second win, and Ace's 5 year anniversary just passed not that long ago so please check them out too. Thanks for watching.